Plaintiff Verlene Tanner says the defendant's son was her godson, and he passed away nearly a year ago after a motorcycle accident. Verlene claimed she paid for the funeral, and the defendant agreed to contribute $4,000, but she failed to do so, so Verlene is suing. Defendant Anitra Wade and her husband Lester say Verlene is delusional and full of drama, and she and Anitra never discuss funeral expenses. Anitra's countersuing for defamation of character. Start with you. My godson, um, Lester uh, Bryant, passed away on a motorcycle, motorcycle accident November the 18th, 2017. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I had never met Ms. Wade until that day. Um, I found out that Ms. Wade, she was so much trouble during this time. She had no respect for no one. You found out? Yes, sir. How so? She, what uh, did you observe? I observed the text messages that she had sent telling me to kiss her behind and just all Why? kind of bad stuff. She was very disrespectful. Why? Uh, that's leading up to the loss, the suit that she had received four thousand dollars for. No, I'm her. saying, why did the disrespect begin? Because she had messed up the money, and so she just what money? <laughs> I think you jumped to a little far. I thought okay. for a minute you had just <laughs> met her. Yes, I had just met her, and then she was being disrespectful. What I mean about disrespectful, she. She just was the type of person that couldn't be trusted. Okay. She lied and she cheated. And, and you just met her though? Yes, sir. And you knew she had done all that or she did it no, with sir. you? I found out later on. Okay. How much later? Like four to five days. That was quick. Yes, <laughs> it was quick. So f four to five days you found out she was a liar? A thief. A thief? Yes. <laughs> Ma'am? Are you all though? No, sir. Okay, well, you tell me what you are. Well, Your Honor, what type I, of person you? I barely know um, the plaintiff. I met her in passings over the years of me being with my husband. My husband knows her better than I know her. My stepson and my biological son was friends with her son. Your stepson is the, the deceased? deceased. Yes, mm -hmm. and my son was friends with her son. Um, only thing I know about her is what I heard and that she's full of drama, she's delusional, and she used to be on drugs. <laughs> you made a little face there. Did you have something you wanted to say? You no, seem like you, <laughs> No, you seem like you were restraining yourself. So if it's something that inflammatory that you want to say that you have to restrain yourself, I'm willing to hear it. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Anything? I have never used drugs a day in my life, and I'm not drama, okay. drama Miss Wade. Okay. Are you sleepy today? No, sir, I'm okay. not. Because this is the way you're talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're either sleepy or you're on drugs, as she says. No, it's sir. one or the other. I so, have never used... Ma'am, I've been around for a lot oh, of years, Lord. and I know when a person is high or sleepy. <laughs> what is she referring to when you turned in four days into a thief and a liar? What is she well, saying? Well, Your Honor, my son was killed on mm -hmm. November the 18th. And I say my son because I've been in his sure. life since he was 11 years old, mm -hmm. and I helped my husband raise him. Um, and he got killed on November 18th, and that's when I really got the chance to know her because she was on scene with his baby's mother that's mm -hmm. present in the courtroom. And I really got a chance to like be around her because I had never been around her for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And I never talked to her about any planning of the funeral. I mean, as far as I know, myself was gonna be, I was gonna be in charge of the funeral. You know, my husband, unfortunately, was incarcerated at the time. And because we raised him, I thought I was going to be in charge of the funeral. But that didn't happen. So that's what she's referring yes, to. Yes, that's what she's referring to. A dispute to. over who is the caretaker of yes. the funeral. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Is that what you're saying, ma'am? Yes, sir. It has to do with who's overseeing the funeral expenses and services? Yes, sir. The mother was there on the scene with me. Miss Sharon, and she told me she wasn't financially able to help bury her son. She asked me, will I please take care of that for her? And I told her, yes, I had to discuss it with my daughter-in-law. She and I discussed it, and we agreed 
to $2,100. To pay the funeral home? Uh, the uh, cremation, yes, sir. It mm -hmm. was gonna be a cremation. Mm -hmm. We agreed to pay the $2,100, but I told them we had to discuss it with Miss Wade and the father. He was incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to do anything without them. So mm -hmm. Miss Wade later on said, well, his father said he doesn't want his son cremated. He want a burial. Okay. And I say a burial is very expensive when you don't have insurance. Mm -hmm. This also getting into the lawsuit when she said that someone had donated $4,000 on behalf of her husband for the funeral. Then everything changed, Your Honor. We went to the funeral home. We had a um, conference with Ms. Wade. She was in Georgia. We had a conference with her and the funeral director and Ms. my witness here and her sister. That's when Ms. Wade informed us that she had to use $1,700 of the funeral money. And I'm like, if someone donated money to you for a funeral, you can't use it for your own personal use. And that changes the whole scenario of everything. Everything changed, didn't it? And she had agreed to give you $4,000? She agreed to pay the funeral home. Uh, the $4,000? The $4,000, uh, $4, yes. All right. And since she didn't, you had to make up that difference. And the remaining balance was $2,400 okay. that I, I paid. All right, and you paid that. Yes, Ma sir. Ma'am, what do you say? Your Honor, that's a total lie. She's lying completely. Me and her never had a conversation, Your Honor. After my um, son was killed, I asked his, babe, his baby's mother, did, he ha did she have insurance? for my son. She said, no, I didn't have insurance. I found that very odd because she's always bragging about what she has. So I thought sure enough, she would have insurance on her son's father, but that wasn't the case. Finally, the biological mama showed up, okay? Mind you, the biological mother has never been in his life, okay? She's been out in the streets and my son, my husband raised him, okay? I got there, the biological mama originally said, Anitra, whatever you and Lester wanna do, I'm okay with that because you guys have been raising him. I had to call the prison to break the news to my husband, which was the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life, okay? After I broke the news to my husband, my husband said, okay, baby, I need you to take over for me. I'm not there, I need you to take over. That's when the biological mama decided that she didn't want me to have anything to do with the funeral or the arrangements. And she put everything in the hands of the baby's mother that's sitting on the side, mm -hmm. okay? I was very upset about that. But again, I never conversated with Verlene, period. All my conversations was between me and the baby's mother. The text messages were between me and the baby's mother and I've never told anybody to kiss my butt. Did you pay or were you to pay anything toward I never the promised expenses? them anything. I, when I found out she didn't have any insurance, I said, well, you know we don't really have no money. Mm -hmm. Lester's cousin, decided that he would donate $1,000. And I took $600 out of my personal savings account, Your Honor. And with the 600 and the $1,000, I made a payment to the funeral home. And I have that on my bank statement right here. Where are you getting this 4,000 from? Let me see it, please. Who I told you she received to the she funeral didn't. home? All right, she's saying the day she didn't. Yes. So is there any other place that you heard that other than from her? No, sir. Okay, because she said she didn't tell you that. Well, this mess text message is here. She'll, uh, Between who? Uh, a matrix in the text that she sent to my daughter-in-law. My and daughter -in -law it says something about 4000 It doesn't say about $4,000, but this here says that she's still going to send the so money. So where is this $4,000 in? Waiting. What are you talking about? I'm talking frankly. about the money that she said she was going to send. I asked her to please send it to the funeral home. Right, and she when said 1600 she, she shows that, me evidence. That's not what she said she was going to send. Your Honor, I would have never put my neck on the line like that. I don't have money like that. I never would have done that. And she also said- She told said, you she received 4,000. Yes, sir. And I'm Someone going to send it to the funeral Someone donated 4,000 on behalf of her husband. And it's right here, Your Honor. Let's see it. What is it you- It's not the $4,000. It's the, she said, I'm still going to send the money. And as, as you look a little farther there, you Show me anything that says 4,000, ma'am. That's the I, only I thing in dispute. She agrees that she sent some money. She said it was 1,600. You mm -hmm. say she was supposed to send 4,000. I need anything 
one thing, a half of a thing that says 4,000. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll show you what she said. Okay. Saying. Your counterclaim for 2400 how does uh, she owe you? Yes, Your Honor. She was running around town telling people that I'm a thief and that I'm stealing money. I have a statement from my son. He couldn't... He couldn't verbally um, send me a statement, so he sent a text message. He's in Alaska. That, you have your four thousand dollars. Yes, sir. I'm finna find it. Here's a statement. This from is my... a notarized statement right here, right. y'all. Here's a statement from my son that they called this him from personally, the funeral, Your I mean, Honor, from... and yes, was telling it. him that I'm stealing money and I'm running. Hi, John. Who is that? Sir. He's a young man that was at the. It was a lot of people outside the funeral home, Your Honor. They was waiting to see. What time the funeral? You're not gonna tell me who he is. Arrangement. Yeah. His Your name Honor, is that John. Statement. No, that this statement. statement, Ms. Verlene and my brother Anthony Jones is yes, my yes, stepson. Son. That's my husband's stepson. Son. They called him personally and was talking that I'm stealing money and I'm running around, um, stealing money and running off with money. He said Verlene and my um, son talked my about my stepmom step, yeah. like a dog. Mm -hmm. And Your Honor, I just want to add that um, I'm a senior accountant, Your Honor. I've never been in any trouble for stealing any money. Mm -hmm. I also do personal income taxes at year end. And for her to run around and say that I'm a thief, that's was, very... And this was on Facebook? That was on Facebook, he said, because he's in Alaska. He put it on Facebook? No, 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 that's a personal message, Your Honor that he right. sent personal, that I told him to send. And so the only person this would have damaged your reputation with is with your son. No, 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 no. That's that's only one person that I had to, to, to that's present. That's why I need evidence yeah. of another person okay, that well, was I don't, told that I don't to. have evidence okay, of another person. Okay, that's not enough wrong. to win a defamation case, in my opinion. Ma'am, you haven't proven your case, so your claim is dismissed, and yours Thank is you, as well. Ma'am, have a good day. <laughs> to know if you have anyone, you have lost anyone in your family. We all fall short sometimes. Do not put no money in anyone's hands simply because you'll be standing in Judge Mathis' courtroom. You're not supposed to misuse funds that for personal use. Can I say something? These people, that's my son. And for someone for to say they love somebody, and to bring somebody through this, if you love somebody and you want to come back and ask for some money, clearly these two people don't care about his life. That's something that I never get back. And for you to bring this about, about some money about my son, I can't get my son back. That's my son. I love him. And if I've been there, the whole different plane. My wife's not a thief, and we've never been a thief. Never been a thief in my life. And so for them two to say that they care about him, just clearly show that they don't care about him. To but come if you and ask said for that's some money. your son, why didn't you? Take because he was, he was incarcerated Maybe and you a crazy fellow and you, you, you look, yeah, you yeah. definitely on drug and you yeah. just look like you're on drug. Yeah.